hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to set up my budget for the month of March um, so if you like videos that have anything to do with budgeting or money or savings go ahead and hit the like button if you are interested in seeing more of my videos hit the subscribe button leave me a comment down below letting me know what your financial goals are for the month of March and let's get started okay guys so as you can see I did go ahead and already put down my um, washies and date dots and all that stuff for the month just because <laughs> y'all know I was on the struggle bus last month setting up trying to put the washi and all that stuff down on camera so I just decided to go ahead and do it off camera today so all the stickers that I'm using are available um, on my website as well as my Etsy shop and this is the way that I like to budget I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys February's stick um, monthly spread so um, this is just how I like to budget it makes budgeting very fun for me and it helps me to stay consistent it helps me to just stay interested <laughs> in budgeting because it is one of those things that you just can kind of easily gloss over in your life because looking at numbers can be scary um, so this is the way that I budget this is an Erin Condren 7x9 monthly planner her monthly planner means that she just has line pages and there's nothing filled in um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the paydays I always start by laying down my paydays for the month i do use um tweezers i'm truly a planner girl if you know anything about the planner community tweezers are a thing it may not work for you and that's okay but they are my thing did i put that on wednesday i did not get paid on wednesday <laughs> i got paid on tuesday so tuesdays and um fridays are my paydays so I ended up removing that sticker from Wednesday. Um, I get paid on Tuesday, so that sh this Tuesday check went to February's um, income. So I had to remove that. And the stickers are matte removable, so it was you just lift the page right on up and remove it. I also changed my tweezers because I don't know these are easier to work with. But if you are new here, I am a solo budgeter. My budget is um, just for me. And on my channel, I like to show you guys how to budget, how to use the cash system using um, lower income budget plans. Um, because sometimes it can be intimidating and kind of feel like you can't really budget or get into some of the trends that are helping us save money and reach financial goals if you have lower amounts to work with so i work with low amounts because i am um, my income is variable so on any given month it could be high it could be low it could be medium so i i just always just budget low so that no matter what comes in i can um afford at least like my bills and stuff but yeah so um what i'm going to be using to help me set up this budget is my principal <clears throat> pages here so y'all know that um before you set up your budget you tend to do like a mock budget and usually i would just write things down in like a notebook but i decided to go ahead and use my printable um, budget planner and use some of the sheets in here so i'll be referencing this so the next thing that I'm going to do, these are all of my paydays for the month. <clears throat> and these paydays are from my shops. So um, I also get paid from YouTube on the 21st. And so my other consistent paychecks outside of the shops would be YouTube and Instagram. Those are very consistent. Um, as far as like affiliate links that sometimes which if you guys use my links below i truly appreciate it um, i hope that you're able to get the discount that you need and you know it gives me a little something so it definitely helps but youtube and instagram are my only other consistent sources of income every month outside of the shops um so next i'm going to go ahead and start working on the bills i will also go ahead and notate that i had a no spend day um i'm actually filming this today y'all y'all see it today i am not spending any money today so first no spend day of the month 
Um, and I just kind of alternate with the colors. So my first bill is going to be my rent and utilities. My utilities were util <laughs> utilities. There we go. My utilities were $97 um, this month. And this is actually my first month paying utilities. Um, I just moved into my own place in the month of January, so I did not have a utility bill, so this is my first one. My next bill is going to be my health insurance, and I do have independent health insurance, and it is expensive. Um, I also round my bills to the nearest dollar, so I don't have to deal with like change and stuff, and if anything, the change is like a nice little extra savings. So my health insurance consists of medical and dental. It is $322 a month. My next bill is a subscription, monthly subscription, which is Netflix. And it's $1081 a month. So I just round it to $11. My next bill is my cell phone. And I did check the app to see what my cell phone bill would be. It's 76 and some change, so I'm just going to round that to 77. I live near Main Street, if this is your first time watching my videos, so I'm so sorry if you can hear cars. Next, I have my car insurance and my Apple Music subscription. My car insurance did go up from rounded off $87 a month to now $94, and my Apple Music subscription is the same. So together, these bills are due on the same day. So that's why I have them on the same sticker. These are due at the same time. So together, that's 106. Um, and then my last bill, actually I have more because um, I also include some of my business bills on my monthly spread so I can remember them, is my internet bill, which is currently $31. I just have Wi-Fi. I don't have... Um, cable or anything like that so I have another subscription oh and I forgot one y'all which is a shop app which is something I use for my website it is ten dollars a month I use Canva Pro for the business and that is thirteen dollars a month okay y'all so my last um, business subscription is my HP Inc. subscription. And I did get six months free of this subscription, so I'm truly grateful for that. And it's $28 a month. So we will go ahead and put these stickers down on the planner. So yeah, y'all, I went ahead and closed out um, February's budget. And <laughs> let's just say, I've gotten to a point where I realize it's time for me to stop spending money. Okay. So that's why budget closeouts are so freaking important. Like as much as we probably hate to do it, it's so important. Um, it's pretty empower empowering actually. I have a hard time saying that word. So um, Netflix is due on the 11th. No, Netflix is due on the 6th. So, um, Starting beginning July of 2022, I really started spending money like crazy as far as like not so much on my everyday life, which y'all see that in my cash stuffings. I don't spend a lot of money like on my day to day life, but I was spending a lot of money on like traveling and going places. So I did a solo trip in um, July. I went to New Orleans did that by myself and when I tell y'all I had a blast I had a blast next would be my shop app and that's due on the 15th um so we are here yeah so that was July 2022 I went to um like I said New Orleans by myself had a blast in August of 2022 um, that is my birthday month and I went to Hawaii I did not have to spend money on the flight or the hotel 
that was my birthday gift um but i did have to spend money on um you know transportation food activities all that good stuff so that was august i didn't go anywhere in september and i actually saved quite a bit of money in september it was absolutely amazing um what ended up happening was toward the end of september one of my family members um got into a pretty tough financial situation and needed help and so i gave money to my family member that needed that assistance and that i just gave it like i didn't ask for it back on this canva do 27th um so pretty much the money that i had saved in september at the end of september went to my family member which i don't mind like money is a tool it's not an idol it's not you know it's just a tool to survive so and they needed help surviving so i gave them that money truly don't regret it and i would do it all over again october i um went to dallas which is where one of my best friends lives for a four-day girls weekend so that was expensive in november i went to washington dc to go to the white house also don't regret that i prayed for that i really wanted to go um just because i'd never been you know and then december was christmas but i had my sinking funds to save for that so that wasn't that big of a deal but i unexpectedly got approved to get my own apartment so then came all of the moving expenses the um application fee renter's insurance prorated rent so in december of 2022 i paid prorated rent for my place and then also paid rent for the place I was currently living at, which is my sibling's house. So yeah, and they, I mean, I'm sure they would have been fine if I didn't pay, but I didn't want to do that because I was still living there. So I was like, I had the keys to this place, still living in my other place, so I paid rent to two different places. And then of course, January, more moving expenses, just trying to get everything set up, getting the office set up. I had to spend money on that. February, um, I had a New Orleans trip planned, but I had so much work to do in the shops with orders and stuff. I wasn't able to get it done. So even though I didn't go to New Orleans in February, I still lost money because it was too late for me to get money back for my flight. So it's flight credits that I will be using. Um, it was also too late for me to get my Airbnb portion back, as well as one of my friends who I was going with actually paid for my registration like that was she was gifting that to me paying for a registration of some things we we're going to do out there at her um alma mater and she wasn't able to get the refund back so i gave her the registration money because i didn't want her to be out of money and i had my valentine's day party in february so your girl has been spending money since july Okay, y'all, so the next thing that I do after I put down my paydays and my bill due stickers is I come over here to the event stickers and I mark down any events that will be going on that are that's going to um, affect my budget. So I guess I'll go ahead with, uh, let's do purple again. So I am going on a trip this weekend. I leave tomorrow morning. Um... And so y'all will get a y'all y'all will get a travel vlog that I'm gonna upload next week because um, I did a poll on my community tab seeing should I put that I'm gonna put it down here seeing what else you guys would be interested in seeing on the channel and so y'all y'all had said that um, um, that y'all wanted to see some like travel on a budget vlogs. So I'm working on that over this weekend. And I come back, I actually come back Monday. So I guess I can stick that here. Yeah. Okay. So my other only events for this month are going to include church. And I mean, I don't spend any money to go to church, but I do pay tithes and offering. So technically that affects the budget so yeah i've been spending a lot of money over the last several months i forget this uh pen smears i need to get my other pen back i need to order it from amazon my pink pen i've been spending a lot of money 
and I have not been able to like grow my savings account like I really want to. It's just been very stagnant since like September. And I was like praying. I'm like, you know, because I always talk to God when I need advice or when I need his wisdom. Um, I always talk to him to figure out what's going on. So um, the next thing I'm going to do, guys, is I transfer money from one of my bank accounts for my cash stuffings every week. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and I do that on Wednesdays. I'm not doing it this Wednesday because I'm not doing the cash stuffing. But I'm going to go ahead and put that for the next four Wednesdays. And I'll just do that in green. Um, yeah, I'll do that in green. So I prayed about it like, you know, okay, Lord. <laughs> The math is not mathy. Like, why is my bank account, my, or my savings account rather, why is it seemingly like stagnant? And it just kind of hit me. Like, I had an aha moment after I said that prayer. And it was like, because, and y'all, this should be simple, right? I should have just been able to figure this out, but I really, I didn't. And it's like, because you've been spending too much money. You're spending lots of money on either like a trip or a big expense on a monthly basis. So you've got to slow down with that. You got to have some balance in your life. So I always say like, I used to be a teacher for those of y'all that don't know. Um, I also used to um, be over a ministry at my last church that I was attending. Um, it was a young adult ministry. So we would just like fellowship, we would pray together we do Bible studies and all that good stuff. Um, so pretty much all my life, all I've known is like responsibility. I never experienced like living life or just enjoying life, my life, never, like ever. <laughs> right after high school, you go to college and that's stressful as hell because you have so much tests and quizzes and essays and homework and on top of that, more than likely you're broke um, <laughs> because you don't have a degree so you can't get a good job yet and you know you can't work a lot because you're trying to make good grades in school and then right after college you know I jumped right into career and it was a stressful career and so I never experienced living my life just for me and now I'm at that place in my life where like I'm just living for me now and enjoying my life while I can and I've just, I have not had balance between like being still, you know, like I haven't been balancing like, okay, live life, but then also sit down so you can continue to reach financial goals. I also don't have consumer debt that I'm paying on. So between not being super, you know, loaded down with responsibilities, not having consumer debt, y'all, I've just been spending money. And this month we are turning over a new leaf. Okay, so yeah, um, I just really felt like after that prayer, I had to realize that um, I need to do better at balancing like having fun and enjoying life with continuing to work toward my financial goals. Like, you know, so for the next several months after this month, the month of March, um, I will not be taking any trips. I will not be going anywhere. Hopefully, I won't even have things to do. <laughs> um, I'm so interested to see how my how my accounts will be able to grow by me like not going on trips so much or having like big expenses. And unfortunately, if any family members ask for money, the answer will be no. Um, yeah so let's see oh i'm using my tweezers y'all know i struggle with this left side because i like to flip the planner around and i know y'all told me i can do it you're like y'all like girl flip that planner around but i'm just like i can't do it <laughs> like on camera <laughs> so my sources of income just include um my shops and any other money that comes in, like video views, um, 
affiliate marketing, anything like that. My variable expenses are the same. Spending gas, home, eating out, medicine. Um, and my medicine is over the counter for pain, um, like headaches, cramps, as well as allergy medicine. And I already foresee myself needing plenty of it because yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I was already like breaking out in hives, which is what my skin does with like allergens in the air. I just break out in hives and they're so annoying. But I take, you know, a pill for them and they go away. Okay, for my fixed expenses, we will do the rent and utilities so yeah guys my fa financial goals for the month of March will just be to sit my behind down <laughs> so that I can continue working on growing my bank accounts especially in ally because I have a high yield savings account so the interest that we make or that I make in that bank is phenomenal. So I'm like, yeah, I should definitely be seeing um, more increase than I currently see right now. Car, well, I guess I could write out car insurance and Apple um, and then internet. And then my tithes and offering I'll put at the bottom, which is also um, variable, but um, I pay it every month. So I guess that's why I put it under fixed. Okay, guys, so these are my variable and fixed expenses for the month that's so much better a little bit better all right so this month for spending i am going to be pulling back on my variable expenses because last month i spent a total of like 917 dollars on variable expenses and then for um fixed expenses my fixed expenses be ended up being over two thousand dollars which I didn't, I had less control over here than I did over here. So there's some different things going on over here that we'll talk about in a second. So we do have five weeks this month in the month of March. So just be mindful of that. Oh yeah, I forget to say this every video. I'm like, okay, y'all go grab your budget planner. Let's set up our budget together. I forget to do that or say that in every video. And I want to say it because yeah, before I was a YouTuber, that's what I used to do. I'd watch other YouTubers and I would plan while they were planning or do their budget while, do my budget while I was watching their budget videos. So again, there's five weeks in the month. Um, so spending gets $10 a week, $10 a week. Gas gets 45. So I just did times five. Home gets 15 a week. So times five is 75. Eating out um this varies i'm last month i gave myself 120 for the month i think i spent the whole 120 um oh man messed it up this month i'm giving myself um 100 for the whole month so i'm trying to so in the um so i told you guys how last month i spent 900 and $17 on variable expenses. The majority of that money came from eating out and beauty. So these are the two categories that I'm tremendously scaling back on this month. Um, so medicine is getting 50. My aller allergy medicine is very expensive. Um, or allergy, allergy medicine in general is very expensive. Beauty is only getting 50. Um, usually, or last month, I gave myself 220, I think because of my lashes so uh <laughs> we're not getting these lashes done this month forget that 
like I could put that money in the bank so yeah not getting my lashes done this month um, just pedicure and eating out like I said I got 120 last month it's only getting 100 this month so rent utilities I don't show that just because people tend to be extremely opinionated about what your income is what your rent is I don't have time for it I love y'all but I don't have time for that so um <laughs> not doing it not arguing with people in the comments about what my rent is or how much money I make health insurance is 322 this did go up in De in December because I got a better health insurance um, my previous health insurance bill was like 200 and something Netflix we know was 11 cell phone was 77 car insurance I think I said this it went up to 94 Apple is 12 yeah internet is 31 also I don't share tides or offering because from experience <laughs> that is another sensitive topic that people are very opinionated about and again you know I do not post videos to argue with people about what their opinions are about how I spend my money I post videos to encourage inspire give you like an a outline of how you could budget that's why I post my videos so there's those are the things that I show and then these are the things I don't show for additional expenses this is going to be anything else outside of um outside of variable and fixed expenses that could come up so or just any other place that I put money towards so this is going to be my sinking funds the total of my sinking funds um, and I'm just gonna put for expected to be 200 I put 400 last month I did not reach 400 I think I only stuffed 184 and so I might be this at the same this month just 184 my retirement which is a Roth IRA I have not opened it yet but I will um, I'm gonna open it next year my goal is 400 my savings challenge and let's pull that out hopefully all the binders don't fall so this is my um, the saving challenges that I do I created these and they are more so tailored for um, lower income hope it's not too much in the camera where you guys can't see so this is the February challenge that I finished at $26 this is the January challenge that I finished at 59. So for the month of March, our challenge total is 92. And get it together here. Okay, so I'm going to put 92 down here. Um, also, if you have been following me for a little minute, you know that I used to be a part of a studio, a cycling studio, um, just that was my exercise. I have not been to the studio since I think October. Now I've paid them twice because I paid in September, the end of September for October, and I didn't go in October. And then I did the three month like pause period, grace period. Um, but then I ended up moving so I don't even live over there anymore. And after my grace period was over, they charged me $104 that I paid last month in February. And they're trying to charge me again, y'all, for like another $139, um, which is what I was paying every month. And they were saying like, oh, it's because you have to cancel 30 days before your next payment. And I canceled on February 1st. And so... I miss like the 30 day window by like two days. But, and I'm like, okay, well, I mean, there's not even, my grace period ended January 31st. That moves up, then that's when they charge me. Moves over to February 1st. I put in writing that I want to cancel. Then y'all saying, oh, well, it hasn't been 30 days. Cause they charge me at the end of every month. And I'm like, there's not even 30 days in the month of February. Like what the heck? 
So I'm just praying that they will not charge me for that. I actually turned my debit card off. They've been trying to run it. Well, the system, not them, but the, their system has been trying to run my debit card for that 139. I turned my debit card off. <laughs> um, I actually will be calling the manager after I'm done with this video to see what we can come up with. Cause I'm like, I really don't think it's reasonable for me to pay y'all now three times over a hundred dollars and I haven't been to one class since like September and to only be off by a couple days when there's not even 30 days in the month I just think that's unreasonable and a bit heartless and definitely discouraging if I ever want to decide to you know join another studio yeah so I'm hoping that I won't have to pay that 139 or that we can work something out or something um and then the last expense I actually forgot to list was um my health insurance billed me for my covid vaccine i already know y'all was like supposed to be free yes it was like 50 something dollars and the insurance covered like 45 or something of it so i think i'm gonna owe 12 dollars on that i told y'all my last my ins my first round of independent health insurance was complete trash and this is um, proof of that because um, I got this vaccine. I don't know why. I don't know if they tried to build me before and I'm just now seeing it. I don't know what happened. But yeah, my first uh, round of independent health insurance was complete trash. So, but I mean, I'm not complaining about $12. So let's go ahead and calculate some of these totals. So for spending, we have... 50 then 225 75 100 50 50 and 30 yes 580 so i'm just double checking here on this spread because i had already totaled it so i just want to make sure that that's correct And then we can calculate the bottom here. I don't have that done. So 200 plus 400 plus 92 plus 139 plus 12, 843. So this is the maximum, but I, sh I am not, like I said, I think I'm gonna stuff, I'm probably gonna end up stuffing less in my sinking funds and I'm hoping I don't have to pay this and this is like 11 and some change. So it should end up being less, but that's what we're working with so far. So next I'm gonna show you guys my dashboard. So I have not completed this page. I do use my deco page as well as my dashboard header scripts um, to set this page up. Typically on this page, it's a mixture of um, business and personal things that I put here. Um, I'm gonna end up using a ruler and just drawing some lines because I think I wanna do some writing down here um yeah really my only goal is to just sit my behind down so i can save more money don't have any birthdays habits water vitamins hopefully i can start back exercising it's been a few months and that's about it okay y'all so this is my weekly check-in page um this page is so important to me because this is where i actually track how much i'm spending on my variable expenses don't really have to track fixed expenses other than just making sure they get taken out and I do check to see if um, any additional money was taken out other than what I am aware of that needs to be taken out so I can call and ask questions if I need to um, but yeah so I did already do my first spending for the first week of this month because I actually started my um, March budget last week because it it um, coincided the last few days of February coincide with the first few days of March so I'm like anytime that happens I just go ahead and start the new month so that the first of the month's bills are taken care of sorry for the camera shake all right so And I'm already started the first week off spending a lot of money. But in my defense, 
one of my friends' um, birthdays was toward the very end of February into the first week of March and we did a brunch and I bought her a gift, so that's why. I also live next to a um, fire station, so I hear that quite often. Especially on New Year's night, it was wild. I was like, I don't know if people's fireworks are catching on fire or like what's going on. The fire station went in for like, it was like six different times throughout that night. Um, so yeah. And in case you're wondering, my travel budget differs from like this budget. So I use a separate, um, you know, I just kind of create a separate little budget for my trips outside of my day to day life budget. Sometimes they might coincide, oftentimes they do not. So, be sure to tune in to that travel travel vlog. I'm gonna try to get it up between Tuesday and Wednesday. I get back Monday morning, so it probably won't be up Monday because I think I'm just gonna end up sleeping when I get back. Um, but I will definitely try to get it up for you guys no later than Wednesday of next week. So if you want to see where I'm going, it's a very expensive place, actually. But if you are interested and want to see how much I spend, I will be showing you guys that. So be sure to tune into that video. Okay, so my weekly check-in usually extends to two pages. Um, I feel like I'm missing something because I feel like it's supposed to be down like further than what it is, but I don't know y'all Maybe not so beauty and Then again, like I said, we do have a fifth week um, In this month, so I should be using all five Categories I also will have some rollover money from this week not much but I'm thinking I may add some of my rollover money to the envelopes especially because like the gas um not the gas I'm sorry y'all especially because the the eating out in the beauty is you know what I'm the most concerned about so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put this strip here to close it out. And this is what my weekly check-in page ends up looking like. All right, so we'll go ahead and set up my sinking funds page. So starting with birthday, I'm not gonna count any money on camera. <laughs> we save that for the cash stuffings, but I will look at the tracker. So birthday has $46 starting out the month. Also not gonna write the dollar signs just to save money. Next is um, retirement. And I do have placeholders in here. If y'all saw one of my last cash stuffings, I was like, you know, wanting to replace the bigger bills. Um, but I don't like the $1,000 placeholders because they are just so extra big. They're a lot larger than real bills. And so it just, it's a little uncomfortable. LASIK has, see, like this, I don't like this. So I will be using another $100 bill and just putting 1,000 on it. LASIK has 11.22. My goal for LASIK, I don't know. My goal obviously was to just be able to pay for it cash. But I have to get back to being able to stuff more money in that envelope, which again, once I'm like sitting down and not spending so much money on trips and stuff, I might be able to do that. Car maintenance is 133. Also need to beef that up because my car is gonna be going into the shop soon for um, maintenance and the next couple of services are a couple hundred dollars. 
Miscellaneous has 25. Gifts, I already know, has $2. Um, I had 52, but I spent 50 on a gift. My guy baby has 22, and I just started that envelope for her, so church has 24, and medical has 51. This is my low priority binder, meaning that I um, pull out of these envelopes the least. So I pull out of these envelopes the most, like, well, not birthing, retirement, or LASIK, but like outings, car maintenance, miscellaneous gifts, church, medical. Um, these envelopes I don't pull out of as much. So car tax has $81. Um, I probably do need to go ahead and put some rollover money into my car tax because um, to get my car registered and to get new tags costs me about $100. And my next one, my next um, registration renewal is in June. So my goal is to get to 100 by June. Emergency has 1255. It actually has more than that, but that's what I have stuffed over the last couple of years. Um, again, this one has a one, 1K slip in it that I do not like that I will be getting rid of. Giveaways has 22. So my last giveaway was when we hit 15,000 subscribers. My next giveaway will be when we hit 20. So we are almost at 19. We're at 18.7. So I'll go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, so we're almost at 19. Christmas has 43. And I start stuffing more in here after my birthday. Functions has 18, which I need to pick up in that envelope. I use that for like holiday gatherings and stuff to contribute to. And car tires has 64. So we'll go ahead and add this up. So 36.10 is what we are working with. And I will go ahead and put the washi down so I can put that total in. This is what we're starting the month out with. Not too bad. Thirty-six and ten. Okay, y'all, so the last thing that we're gonna set up is going to be my business budget. So my revenue sources are the shops, um, as well as video views, like from YouTube um, and Instagram. Affiliate marketing. I am going to probably um, withdraw my TikTok funds I've just been saving them up because between Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, um, TikTok pays the least money. So I've been a part of that program, the uh, creator fund, since like August or September. And I barely have $200 in that account. The video, the, what they pay for video views, I guess because it's easier to get video views on TikTok, I've heard, but I don't really know if that's true. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's true or not, but the, the 
the pay on TikTok is really, really low, but I finally have built my account up to like almost a couple hundred dollars. So I'm like, well, I'll probably go ahead and pull that out this month. So yeah, miscellaneous. I have been getting quite a few emails for brand deals. So that would fall under miscellaneous. Um, I have not read the emails yet. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm so sorry for anyone who maybe has emailed me and like, girl, but I am going to try to read them over the next several days. Um, I really do want to get into brand deals. It's just hard to have the time for them because I am pretty much the sole person um, working in my shop. I also have a goal of after I reach a certain number of subscribers, here on YouTube, I want to actually hire a um, another like small business that negotiates brand deals and kind of let them take care of that for me so that I don't have to do it because I just don't really have the time. So right now it's just me negotiating brand deals if I do, when I do. But again, that rarely happens. Um, but it is something I am interested in doing. So. So these are my variable expenses, things that I spend money on to fund the business, Amazon, Target, Office Depot, designs, shipping labels come from Shopify because Etsy just d deducts it. And then sometimes I get Etsy bills depending on different things. Um, my fixed expenses will be Canva Pro, like y'all saw for $13. It's really $12.99. <laughs> HP Inc. I think 2708 so I'll just do 28 and then my shop app is exactly ten dollars so let's see we'll make it work so 13 plus 28 plus 10 is 51. Okay. And then sometimes I give myself a budget for my variable expenses for the business. Most times I don't, just being honest, because whatever the business needs, it needs. So. I give myself a, a budget for my variable expenses on my personal budget because I can kind of control that a little bit better as far as the business is concerned. Just whatever it needs is what it, is what it gets. So, but I am gonna try to tighten up on Amazon a bit. I've been spending quite, <laughs> been spending quite a bit of money on Amazon, so I probably will get a little bit more um, restrictive with myself on there. Cause I like to try new things out, but that costs money. So here is where I notate profit, taxes, income. So if you are, um, if you have like a side hustle, a business of your own, um, and you need some, another resource to kind of have a separate like budget for that, this would be perfect for you. This has truly helped me um, manage my business finances because you know I did not major in accounting or business in school. So I've learned all this from scratch and this has truly helped. It just simplifies everything. Um, and I leave these stickers on here. Typically additional expenses include like any, anything that pops up unexpectedly. So last month I had to pay a subscription for my computer um like the software that keeps viruses and stuff out of my computer so that was like 162 so i had to pay that that was an additional expense also i pay my mom she works for me like hourly um so i keep up with her payments down here as well and i usually give myself two pages for my business expenses and then the last page that y'all see here um 
is my transaction log and my savings tracker. So my transaction log is pretty universal. Um, I just labeled it a transaction log because you can literally track anything with that. Um, in the month of January, I tracked my moving expenses with my transaction log. In the month of February, I tracked my Valentine's Day party expenses with my transaction log. This month, I will be using it just for anything unbudgeted that's not in my main budget that you guys saw that pops up. So this is a universal tracker. You can use it for anything. If you wanna track your expenses, you can use it for that, literally anything. I do actually want to um, start tracking my expenses better. So eventually I may use it for that. I may be using two of them, I don't know. And my savings tracker, I use this to track how much money I'm saving in cash um, that I end up sending back to the bank at the end of the month. So that is gonna conclude my March budget setup. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that it inspired you to go ahead and get yourself together and get your budget set up. Um, I hope that you find a cute and productive way to inspire you to keep up with your budget, to pay off your debt, reach your savings goals, enjoy life, whatever it is that you wanna do. So um, I will not have a cash stuffing this Friday, this weekend or Friday because uh, I will be out of town, but I will have a travel vlog up mid next week so you can see where I went and how much I spent. And then I will have a cash stuffing next week. So thank you guys so much if you made it to the end of this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.